What up, Army? You now tuned into the War Room. I'm the Puologist. And I'm Ms. Hero. And today, we're talking about bug out bags. Drop the intro. Hey, talk is irrelevant. Yeah. When I aim at the target, I never miss. No. We gon' ride for the game like the president. I reloaded and shoot it this high vent. No sleep, I'm up. no yawning. Pure army, come join it. Got an extra mag, I'm on it. Boom, Got stop smoke, playing we want it. We want it. So as stated, we got a request to talk about bug out bags today. Unfortunately, we don't really have much of a bug out bag. Um, hate to disappoint. Yeah, hate to disappoint. Um, a bug out is not really in, in our plans because we don't have a place necessarily to bug out to. We don't have right. any, know anybody with private land uh, who has a place for us to bug out to. So our plan of action would be to uh, shelter in place. We do have get home bags, um, primarily consisting of uh, first aid, uh, uh, straws to be able to get water, you know, trying to make it back to the house, um, and a little bit of snacks to be able to get back to the house. But that's pretty much what we have is yeah. a get home bag, not necessarily a bug out bag, um, because right. our place, our, our plan of action is to shelter in place considering what we have access to. Um, right. The best case would be for us to shelter in place. And if it got to a situation where we needed to leave our location, at that point it wouldn't be bugging out because we wouldn't be going to a, a predetermined destination. Uh, you know, we'd be making stuff happen. Right. Just like the rest of the world, so. So in our um, neighborhood, we, we kind of have a plan based on like where our house is located mm -hmm. and what neighbors we're around kind of identifying who's at what house and you know what resources and you know skills that they have and stuff like that so where our house is it's kind of set up in a good spot in a neighborhood it's one of the things we looked at when we first bought the house so we have a plan to stay in place and a mm -hmm. lot of stuff that goes into that but we don't really have a a bug out yeah, and then within the area that we stay in we do have a network of people that we know that we can you know go to their places if our yeah. place isn't the safe location uh, we do have places people scattered across um the area that we stay in within an hour of us where we can go yeah. to take the family to move the family to if we need to get to those areas but for the people who are looking for a bug out um a bug out bag and what's in mm -hmm. the bug out bag unfortunately we unfortunately we don't have that because it's not in our plan it's not you know what we do and you probably should too evaluate your situation and you know see if bugging out is the appropriate course of action for you or does it just sound cool i mean some people if we had a bug out spot we bug out like yeah, you know sure. but we just don't but some people mm -hmm. if you do have that option it's cool we mm -hmm. just don't have that in place right now yeah <clears throat> and there's a lot of people out there who hear bug out so they think that their best case scenario would be to bug out when actuality it might be better for you to shelter in place yeah. so just consider your options um see what you have access to uh, see where you would go and then to make a determination you know what you should do based on that yeah for sure i mean i could think of a few things i would put in a bug out bag mm -hmm. but so what would maybe, it be what would it be i mean just off the top of my head you know i want a good knife I want life straws, maybe some mm. MREs, first mm -hmm. aid for sure, tourniquet, stuff like that. Yeah. Um, maybe a safety vest, maybe, but maybe not if we're trying to stay low key, a mm -hmm. flashlight. Yeah, you, you also know. wanna you also wanna make sure that you have something in the bag that can help keep uh, keep warmth in. Yeah. That's for gonna sure. be one of the major things, especially mm -hmm. now that it's getting into the colder months. You wanna make sure that you can keep yourself, you yeah. can maintain your body heat. Uh, the one thing that can that you can die from is not being able to either one make shelter or two keep yourself warm during those colder times. So, right. so uh, those are two things that you need yeah. to make sure that you're able to do. Fire starter, thermal mm -hmm. blanket, the hot hands, pouches, um, gloves, right, right. so mm -hmm. extra socks, you know. And then we have kids. So mm -hmm. yeah, taking kids is another thing that you yeah. need to consider. That's going to slow you down significantly. If you get into a situation where you need to bug out, especially if you don't have access or you don't want to use main roads and that kind of stuff. If you're walking, um, if you're tre uh, trekking, having kids is not, is not a safest option as far as right. like bugging out and moving at, at once. Now again, it's not ideal, 
but if we need to, we getting the kids and we up out of there. Mm -hmm. But right. we really just trying to think of in terms of like more realistic and we don't have that other location right now. Mm -hmm. So we really just kind of created a plan around where we are and then a network of people around us. Right, right. So like I said, like I said earlier, uh, consider your options and see, make the best choice for your, um, for your family. Yeah, I was actually, we uh, we did a poll on Instagram, so if you don't follow us on there, go ahead and follow us. But we did a poll, like, ask the people what they wanted to see. Mm -hmm. And I was shocked that most people wanted to hear about bug out bags. Like, right, it's cool. Right. I just, I really didn't expect that. Mm -hmm. I thought, you know, EDC type videos or something. What yeah, EDC, carry. man. We got we got yeah. EDCs for days to give you guys. <laughs> uh, we can show you a couple of our setups, too. Yeah. So, uh, man, it's really just what, what we want to, uh, or what you guys want to see. Uh, we want to focus this channel more so on the people who are watching the channel. So yeah. um, we want to make sure that we're in, interacting and engaging with you. So drop into Instagram, drop into YouTube, drop a comment, let us know what you want to see, what you want to talk to talk about. And we, Like I said, we're going to try to make it happen. If you can hear, man, you hear the kids in the background in, <laughs> in the studio chilling. Um, Hey, like I said, drop a comment down low to let us know what you are, what you want to see and what you want to talk about. Yeah, and if going back to the video, like if you got a bug out bag, let us know what's in it. Because maybe right, the people right. that wanted to know, like if you can just leave what you put in your bug out bag, y'all could kind of swap ideas and get some stuff, some conversation going in the comments. Yeah, and there there are some, uh, some people on IG mm -hmm. that you can tap into if you are looking for a bug out bag or looking for preparation uh, tips. Right, right and uh, tips and tricks and what you should do in these types of scenarios and situations. Um, tap into those pages. Do you have anybody that you would suggest looking at? Man, so definitely um, very independent. Mm -hmm. Definitely rogue preparedness. Yeah, she's definitely good. Mm -hmm. um, good she kinda, lives in Alaska too, so you know she knows what's, what's going on. I'm trying to think. Like, of course, you asked me, everybody go out my head. There's a mm -hmm. few people. Mike Glover has some stuff. Mike He's Glover, had some stuff for sure. uh, preparation yeah. and, uh, and bugging out yeah. and stuff like that. So Mike Glover is definitely a good source. Yeah. So there's plenty of people like, but, you know, it's kind of cool to see that our our people want to know about preparedness and bugging yeah. out. That's pretty cool. At least you're thinking about the future. Right. And that's something, you know. Yeah. Make sure you find a good source and tap into them. Um, Use the sources who are already doing it. We aren't bugging out, so I don't want to steer you in the wrong direction, but I do want to make sure that you have some good sources to go to. Right, so, right. And check out some of the people that we named. Yeah. Actually, it wouldn't be a bad idea to get some MREs, though. Like, we do have, we got we got dry food that we mm -hmm. got in excess, you know, for emergency situations, but we right. don't have any MREs, so that's something that we should really look into. Yeah, we have some carb packs. Uh, there's yeah. a lot of packs that you can get to uh, make sure that you're stocking up on some carbs in, in yeah. those type situations. And make sure that you have energy. Yeah. You know, rice butter, um, granola, peanut butter, uh, things like that to, that can get you some quick energy. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but anyways, let us know if you have any questions in the comments below. Questions, comments, or concerns, uh, tap into Pew Army, Pew.Army. If you want to look into uh, participating in the NFTs, tap into Pew Army. Um, look at look us up on IG, Pewologist, Miss Hero, Pew.Army, Pewalo. Uh, and we'll catch you on the next one. Yeah. Like I always say, we'll see you on the next one. Toodles. Pew Army. 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 Got smoke. We want it. We want it. We want it. We want it.